is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And chilly out there this morning in the springs, but gorgeous nonetheless. If you caught the sunrise, it was a beauty. This one taken by Cindy Rotz out at the St. Francis Medical Center on the east side of town. Now, this is something pretty cool to look at, especially being an avid skier like I am. You can see the snow gun still going even into the afternoon hours out there in the high alpine territory up at Arapahoe Basin. Back here in the springs, temperatures are currently in the upper 50s. Winds coming out of the south at about 6 miles per hour, 21% the relative humidity under mostly clear skies. Down south into Pueblo County in the city of Pueblo, 65 degrees. Winds out of the south here also pretty light at about 7 miles per hour. So the big story tonight, a cold blast of air moving in behind today's cold front. And we do have a round of freeze warnings for northern El Paso County from midnight to 8 a.m. And as well, frost advisories for the spring. Pueblo, Trinidad, Walsenburg, all the way east into the plains. So protect the plants tonight and bring in the outside pets. The big story, however, takes us into the latter half of next week. Timing, strength of the system still up in the air. But here's what we know at this point. It's a developing area of low pressure right up there towards Alaska. This is going to be a late week weather maker here in southern Colorado. And it is going to bring cold winter blast into the forecast with wintry precipitation possible by next Thursday. Now, before we get there, things are actually going to warm up. So, as I mentioned yesterday, a case of weather whiplash here in southern Colorado the next couple of days. Right now in the springs in the upper 50s, by 7 a.m., we're down below freezing, 31 degrees. Pueblo should be around the freezing mark as well. Noontime temps, absolutely beautiful with uh, those numbers back up into the upper 60s. So here's how it looks hour by hour, starting in the morning with the sub-freezing temperatures, but warming up pretty nicely as we make our way into the afternoon. You can see those 60s that eventually give way to 70s for those daytime highs. So temperatures tomorrow are probably going to be up about 5 to 10 degrees from what we saw this afternoon. Here's more details on this weather system. This is the model, and it shows all the cold air moving in from the upper levels, and that's going to settle into the mountains and into the valleys in the lower elevations as well late this week. So to sum it up, here comes winter. What about timing of the snow? This is a little bit early to put a lot of stock in this model. It's a long range model, but it does show some snow showers up north into Denver areas north of the springs Wednesday night. I think it's probably going to wait until Thursday as it looks like it gets hung up right near the Palmer Divide through Thursday morning. That would be the cold front. And then it does eventually want to swing down south during the day on Thursday. So this not only could be an event for the mountain areas where they could get several inches of snow, but it's possible some of our grassy surfaces could see accumulating snowfall heading into Thursday afternoon, Thursday night as well, before the system pushes east Friday morning and we begin to dry out. So again, a taste of winter not too far off in the forecast with the snow. Tonight, going to feel a lot like winter as well. Temperatures down to the upper 20s in Monument. See 35 in Canyon City, 31 in the Springs. Look how we rebound nicely, though, tomorrow. 72 in the Springs, 77 Canyon City, and 77 in Pueblo. Seven-day forecast that takes us to 80 degrees on Tuesday, down to 42 on Thursday. Light snow possible in the Springs, down to 21 degrees Thursday night. For Pueblo, looks like we could see a mix of maybe rain, possibly snow. Thursday as we drop from the mid 80s down to the low 50s. It's going to be a huge temperature swing. Canyon City all the way up to 82 and then 79, crashing down to 50 and 55. And for Woodland Park, temperatures here in the mid 60s to low 70s with snow maybe as early as Wednesday night for Woodland Park. Better chances Thursday with a high of just 37 degrees. 